So hello, welcome one and all to what is certainly in terms of international football in Latin America, the ultimate grudge match. Two absolute superpowers who also happen to be neighbours on a continent widely recognised as football's home. It is a rivalry that has a history which lasts well over a century and has of course been ranked top of all footballing rivalries by media and supporters alike. It comes as little surprise then that this game is considered to be international football's equivalent of the Super Classico. The 11 of Brazil, the 11 of Argentina, some of them friends, many foes in club football, lining up for a united cause. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this. Well, it's as friendly as it can be in the circumstances that you feel the rivalry. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. So we're up and running. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Marquinhos. He's one of the toughest and most competitive centre-backs in the business. He's the kind of player you can rely on to always be just where you need him, making a vital interception or just making life difficult for the opposition to get through. And that's a, a very valuable characteristic. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. And here's Messi. It has shot a goal. Goal! Argentina! And it's Argentina in front. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire. But how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Argentina take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Because of that first goal now, it's a great opportunity to make it one-way traffic and add to this lead. Out for a throw. Messi. Messi looking to penetrate opposition lines. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Yeah. 
Messi, can he get through? Brazil have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Goes for goal! Dispatched clinically. Brazil are back in business. That was easy, almost too easy. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Brazil grab the equaliser and we're all square. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked and uh, I still haven't moved. Messi. And it's played forward. He's got away. Brazil disappointing in the end there. They lack urgency. Now it's Messi. Firmino. Alexandro tries lifting it over. And he's shown him a clean... Oh, shooting chance! Knocks it away. And there is the half-time whistle. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. That's a really interesting game, and they head in at half-time at 1-1. Brazil get the second half started. Thiago Silva. Casemiro. Di Maria with a good steal, well played. Ball forward, what does he try from here? Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Otamendi gets it forward. Caught offside that time. Celso gets into the right position to intercept. Foot in. Martinez. Loscelso. Otamendi. Hoists it forward. And here's Messi. Paredes. Now it's Messi. Gets away from his opponent. And the finish! Goal! Argentina! And they're back in front. Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Well, the keeper has every right to have a moan of his defenders for that because they never got tight to the score. Simple as. Argentina get themselves into the lead. It's come 
Cruz. He's off on a marauding run. And a shot! Real chance! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Oh, that's a waste. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Firmino kings it out wide. And it's Alexandro. Alexandro goes to the cross. Forward it goes. Brazil are definitely not going down without a scrap. They're up. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Brazil need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. It'll be a throw-in. There's going to be another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for a side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Firmino, his goal-scoring skills have already been evident. Richarlison plays it long. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Argentina have held on. A knife edge game. Thank you so much for watching. They have won it. So there it is. What struck you most about that?